but I have cleaned uh, the battery compartment right here paint a little bit before I put uh, uh, the rubber base on it I have prepared the axle I'm gonna put grease now and now what I'm doing is I'm cleaning all the electrical you see I have, I have removed all the electrical on this and uh, removing any kind of rust or any kind of like you know dirt oils and stuff like that. Let me stabilize the GoPro. So this is the the negative battery terminal I'm doing right now. And uh, there's a ground here. There's a ground here that uh, you know. I have to look what is going, I can't even remember anymore. <coughs> but uh, there's not too many things on the bike. I removed the uh, the stereo system. I don't need it anymore because we have uh, the Carto Pactol bolt in our helmets. So music, we cover with music, very good quality. Okay, so... Okay, let me clean up this with a little bit uh, four zero. Not bad. Okay. Um, let me clean up this bowl too, a little bit, and I'll be back. This can go under. Okay, right there. Okay, looking good. I'm gonna use some uh, good quality bearing grease SKF and uh, I'm gonna put as much as I can into the bearing. I have replaced these bearings a couple of years ago, so I know they are good. I'm gonna put a drop of just in case a new lactite just in case you know because the other one is be sitting for a while okay all right let me get ready the torque wrench and I'll be back
upguard. Uh, put it up myself a long time ago. Uh, let's see here. This looks like a, it looks like a nut. <sighs> I have no idea what size this is. Alright, I'll be back. Okay, looks like we're not gonna be putting the wheel up today because you know I'm gonna clean up everything here. Okay, nothing wrong with the with the equipment, but you know this is the time really to clean up the whole bike. If I clean this section tomorrow or the day after or whatever, you know, the bike is like 90% clean in out. Okay, so you guys later. What I want in W40 going to the belt. So I cover up. First, I'm going to suck it with W40. Everything here. And then... Let it be for the night. Okay. Yes, it's extreme dirty after all these years. But not that bad. All right. I have to tension the T45s on the pulley because I put lactite on, so I can't leave it overnight. All right. So I will uh, scan this page here, so put it on the, on the book so you have it. Okay, this is for the um, fat boy, soft tail. Okay, you can see the pulley here and the numbers. And uh, this page here. It's a T45 Torx, that's what the pulley bolts are, 30 to 45. So first I'm going to tension 30. I have already set up the, the torque wrench to 30. Okay, I have hand tight them. So I'm gonna start with the top. Little by little. Let's see if I can hold the wheel like that. I'm using a cross pattern. Okay, we have 30 on this one, 30 on this one, I'm gonna wait, 30 on this one, and 30 on this one, check this one one more time, alright, let's go to 45 now. 45, I'm going to start with the top left. Give a little bit of time. Give a little bit of time. A little bit of time. 45, the first one. Forty five, let me go across. Forty five, forty five. Okay, let's do a double check. This one, yes. All right, that's it. All right, see you guys later. All right, this is the day after, guys. 
Uh, so I clean up the the battery compartment. I paint it. I clean up all the the leftover cables. I'm gonna continue here a little bit more work. I'm thinking about taking the rear fender now, but I'm still thinking about it because it's really not bad. But you know, we we'll see. And uh, this is very nicely done. So I'm gonna take the front wheel off and change also the, the front fork oil here this is I lost this yesterday so I gotta get some stuff ready here gotta take the covers off all right let's get ready okay this is one and a half Two, two and a half, three. This looks like a three millimeter. Harley Davidson. This cover's been there forever. No, this one is a little bit different. Okay, this one is here, Finch. It's gonna get them loose now. Yeah, I know I don't have so much space here, but you know what? I don't wanna move the bike. And I have already lost the, uh, uh, the oil tabs right here I just put them back so they are ready to change the oil uh, that was quite easy some people use an impact wrench okay so this is off all right Let's go to the other side see a safety pin here. I don't know why. Really. Okay, let me get some more tools and I'm gonna release the uh, the speedometer cable from here. It's actually easy. side that's for the gas tank right here okay spacer so um, hold on let me put them what I'm gonna put them now this is the thing uh, I'll leave them there for now So this is loose. All right, let's see if I can get it through here. It should fit. No, yes. All right. Okay. All right, let me cut this off. Okay, this is three and three quarters. Hold into something. Oh, shit. Oh man, I gotta 
get something else. Okay, I'm gonna show you the something else because I have nobody to help me here. This is the something else. Okay. All right. All right. I'm surprised there's no safety pin here, but uh, you know what? I'm gonna put Loctite when I put it back. Okay, so um, looks like it's free. Yeah. All right, let me make a little bit of space here. So, um, I have no choice but, you know, maybe put something under, because nobody's here really, uh, like what? Ah, it's all loose, uh, let me give it a try, the action is very greasy. here ah, from the other side so now I can you know clean up the whole thing and polish it Mechanical. Okay. All right. Time to clean some parts. I decided to take the bags off and clean the whole area and maybe take the fender. Mine as well. Do the whole thing. It, it's gonna be like, a, you know, it's, really, it's gonna be like 80% if I don't do the rear fender. So. I need to put some spacers here, then uh, I have put this temporary and it really bothered me because they're not good. Okay, all this hardware here, it's just not good right now. 
and it really bothered me, so this is might as well just do it. I have plenty of time. I have the other bike. So let me start putting things away. I'm gonna put this in the bags. Look the size bolts I put here. The nut is uh, number 17. Yeah? And I put a little bit of rubber inside. This you should watch the video how I touch this because they don't really fit on this bike. These are Hepco Becker leather bags. Okay, and I have uh, I spent a day to do the modifications, they hold very good. So I'm very happy. Look the size of bolt. The size of bolt uh, in the States, in, in the aircraft industry, it's, it's like the size AN7 or a 6 or something. Maybe between 6 and 7. You can actually pull, pick up the whole bike with this bolt. So, this is very well made. The only thing is uh, the spacers. I, I never liked that spacer. Look at that. Let me put it back in the bag. When you start doing, uh, you know, a restoration like that, it, it will not, it will not stop. You have to just keep going. So make sure you have plenty of time, like really plenty of time. This is the third, three months now, but I'm not working every day, of course, right? I have uh, work to do, but think about it. And these wrenches, they're very convenient. Look at that. You hear that? Because they can fit in, in tight spaces. I use them for uh, the latest gears. Last time I got into this, I put the uh, quick connectors. Right here. That's very smart of me. Look at that. So I can disconnect. This is a marine type or aircraft type connectors. Um, you can find them on this quality on marine stores or aircraft parts. If you are in the States, you can check, uh, you know, West Marine or uh, aircraft parts and Spruce, and Spruce, something like that. I've been shopping from them for years. And they have this kind of quality. Okay, so I have removed the flashlight. And the problem is, you know, the flash cable or the blinking light, whatever you want to call it. All right, it goes right here. Okay, and uh, I don't want to pull it out from here because I will destroy the uh, the connector. All right, so I'm thinking about it. Um, I have no way to take it off from here. I, I don't know. I have you see, I have done this years ago. But looks like I have a solder it. So I think the easy solution is, you know, maybe, uh, let me see if I have a connector or something. Somewhere. You see, this is the cable. And it has a cover on it to protect it from, you know, mud and everything. 
So if I don't find a connector, I'm just going to cut it and put a connector uh, with a string heat over it when I put it back. All right, let's see. Okay, so I decided I'm going to cut it. It's much easier, but I'm going to cut it here, inside here. So I'm going to connect it in here to avoid, you know, uh, cutting the cable where we have a lot of water, humidity, or whatever. So basically, I mark it left and right so I know what's going on. And this connector is just the rear light, the stop light, okay, and uh, the blinkers, left and right, that's it. That's what this connector is, right here, check it out, okay, so you know. So let's see what we're going to cut it now, and I'll be back. Okay, so I cut them uh, close to the connector, I cut them right here so I can have them under the seat, nice and dry. Now, let's remove... Anyway, you can recognize them because the left one, looking the bike from the rear, is longer. You see that? Okay, then you're gonna need, if just in case you watching this video, to do the same work. Okay, you're gonna need... Uh, uh, what is it? The 916, I think. Uh, yeah, the 916 snap-on. Well, you don't have to have snap on. Just like to show off my tools. All right. And then I lose the bolt here. And the lock washer right here. And the whole thing, it will come loose. Just don't scratch it. Okay. All right, let me put this back here so I don't lose them. And just for now, make a nut. All right, let's put this one on the side. You see, what happened is, you know, I thought I'm gonna be finishing and I'm collecting even more parts now. Oh boy. But, you know, you gotta do it. What do you gotta do? If you wanna do it right. <laughs> It's already over 22 hours on YouTube, I think, or, uh, of what I've been doing. And, uh, you know, it's a lot of information because, you know, other people, I have lots of others on YouTube too, to do work like that. So we help each other. It's what I call the uh, motorcycle information highway, not just motorcycle. Because we have a lot of videos from, uh, you know, from uh, camping, from traveling, even flying. And still, I have a large collection from flying in the States with light planes. But uh, if you go way back, you can see some. You see. I have to do that on camera so you can see what it takes. Okay, again, when you pull this out, don't scratch the. Uh, oops, you see? That's what I'm talking about. I have to go there now. You see what happened? The sissy bar came off. Oh boy, I have no idea. The thing was like... <laughs> Check it out. Look at that. <coughs> I almost forgot that uh, when I take that bolt out, the sissy bar is loose. All right, now, let's see what else is holding it. Let me put this on the side again, so I don't lose it. 
Yes, I have put LED lights here for more visibility. Okay, they don't look bad. You can't even see it if you don't go close to the bike. But in the night time, believe me, they can see it. All right, let's put the sushi bar on the side. Okay, let's see what we have now. This is real dirty. Ah, oh boy. So, what's holding the fender now? It's this. And I'm all free. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Take it out. Okay, let me come back. Hello, Creon. Ah, say hi to everybody. Hello, how's your boat? What's up? You bought her? Look, Harley. Sleeping. Here is Harley. Sleepy. Ah! <laughs> Look at that one. Okay, we're almost finished. Don't worry. Okay, we're probably going to barbecue today. So you're going to get bones. Yes, bones. Yes. <laughs> All right, so uh, I got this one loose. I took the glass out and the cover. If you come up to this point, you <laughs> I'm not worried how you're gonna uh, learn how to do that. <laughs> this is it's crazy, but uh, uh, man, look how. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, so let's get this loose. Okay, this has a, a nut like this. Uh, yeah, that thing is a you look how light it is. It's like you know, nothing. And it, it, it holds pretty good for through the years, I can tell you that. Let me see if there's anything else in there. Um, yes, it's the cables. Look what I have done here. You see that? I have done this years ago to avoid dust into the frame of the light. Look at that, and it worked. Look how clean is this? Let me show you that. Check it out. Check it out. These are... Uh, you see that? It's not bad. Uh, not bad. I think it needs, needs another uh, gasket. Yeah. Or maybe uh, I clean the old one. So we'll see. I have another light just in case. But... See that? So let's put this back. Take this out. More parts and more parts. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. One day this bike is going to finish. So now we have this holding everything. Let's see what size is this. Uh, this looks like, uh, you know, yeah, this looks like, uh, what is it, uh, again, a 9.16, but on this side, it's a giant Philips, ah, yeah, see, I have, uh, I put W40, on all of them, yesterday. You should do the same if you're going to build up like this, so that makes your life easier. 
when you remove uh, all bolts like that. I have the feeling I have uh, put a red lactite here because I have took the fender, this fender out at least 15 years ago and uh, gave it to a, a really good guy and painted original. His name was John, uh, I I'm sure he's still doing airbrush work and stuff. John the American. In uh, Hios Island. <sighs> ah, man. And then... Uh, ah, yeah. scenario I'm gonna hit it up but I don't want to yet if you have a lactite problem watch my BMW rear drive video you hit it up to like uh, 50 60 Celsius and the lactite breaks easier So a friend of mine, George, he wanted to go for a coffee now, hang out. He's like, is this bike ever going to finish? <laughs> I told him, like, full time. I told him I can't right now. I haven't finished up. He has a beautiful Evo Springer with a red, uh, Porsche red color. Unbelievable. If he comes, I'm going to shoot a video so you can see it. Okay. You have to really be dedicated to do something like that, and I am. Believe it or not, I'm getting tired, but I love it. Sometimes it's pain in the butt, but I love it. That's the difference. To own a bike, and to love a bike. <laughs> I have some friends of mine that buy a new Harley every couple of years. What's the point? I have a BMW for that. Okay, so... Look at that. You need the refreshment, yes. Alright, I'll be back. So this is a good trick, you just water with a little bit of uh, dishwa uh, dishwasher, okay? It cleans everything. If you want to clean your hands after you're done, very, of course, I just put very little right now. So you can, you know, I use the computer sometimes. Not bad, not bad. Of course, it needs a little bit of paint job, a little refreshment here and there. But uh, 
you know, we fix it. This is the new mirror we got for my baby. Beautiful mirrors. Heavy duty. Okay. And let's see what we got here. So make sure so you have really good quality screwdrivers. I got these ones uh, two, three years ago. They're excellent, excellent uh, fixmen. I have no idea whose fixmen is, but really good stuff. So I'm gonna removing the center screw first. And uh, check it out, a little bit rust there. This just goes into the bare metal. Nothing really is holding it. I hope I can find new screws. This is very important in the rear. On the front one, I'm not going to use it again. I'm just going to leave it as the bike was from the, you know, from the factory. But on the rear, it's very important because, you know, people passing by, they can, you know, scratch it really easy. There's a little bit of soap for the beginning. See what I'm talking about? I have a couple of scratches here and there. I'm sure Costas he's gonna disappear them. That's my body that uh, he has a body shop. He does harness too, yes, he's very good. See how the bike looks now. <laughs> Nothing much. Well, I finished the engine. <laughs> Look at that. Good. I can clean up the whole thing now here. Yes, I wanted. I was looking forward to do this. This section right here, the rear of the bike. All right. Another one. Okay, so I'm gonna remove the uh, the toolbox, so I can, you know, clean it up a little bit. I'm just marking the holes because I have uh, put it exactly where, well so I can fit the the uh, the settler bags. These are aircraft bolts and nuts. I have on the front too. Check it out. They are different grade. I use them for the ultralight planes. Let me get the washers and
you know, years ago I was ready to to get a chrome swing arm. Uh, but then I thought about it and I'm like, I don't want so much chrome on the bike. Just I think it's got already too much chrome. That's enough chrome. We don't want to lose the character of the classic with too much chrome. Actually, I'm going to remove a couple of pieces here and there. This is going to have less chrome when I finish. And I think this is the right thing to do. We need a little bit black there. Almost like, uh, you know, half and half. that that's the flashlights and uh, the rear lights let me clean up this one you see I have I forgot also to tie the string hitch let's put this here for now Well, if you watch all, all the episodes, because some, some guys do, like my friend Moy. Hey Moy, hello there. So, uh, he's in, uh, you're in Indiana, I think, right? And uh, you can see how much work it takes. And, uh, you know, how many parts I took out. A little bit rust on the chrome. And the secret. Rust on the chrome, it's 4-0. Let me show you what 4-0 can do, so you can see it. This is a little bit rust here. Okay, check it out now. Yes, I've been doing this for years, I know. Look at that. Can you believe it? Look at the old one. This hasn't been cleaned with that, okay? Look how, uh, you know, Dow is. Uh, uh, check it out now. Okay. Remember, this, this chrome, it's over 20 years old. Okay. That belt, that belt card is, I put it like in the late, late 90s. Okay? Not bad, right? Mm hmm Okay. So, let's do the other one. First, let me just... You see, I try to avoid to, to drop anything on the belt. On the belt, through all these years, I just put water. Nothing else. Just, just nice and clean water. Uh, I'm gonna probably use a little bit of the rust uh, sp uh, spray paint in on the inside and clean the outside with uh, four zero. A little more. Okay. Let's do a little bit magic. Yes, they have little scratches here and there, but you know, it deserves to have 
some scratches. We have wrinkles. Bikes have a little bit of scratches here and there through the years. It's okay. It's fine. You should be proud. You're getting old and you got to this point where we're standing right now. My motto is, I have two of them anyway, one for flying, like safety first, but the other one is like, keep riding before you rot. Both, I think, very important. So this bike has been involved in uh, many tours. And that's another reason. It's been photographed, believe me, <laughs> everywhere. Greek islands, in Athens, in, in the States, in, uh, you know, a lot of places in the States. Okay. Look at that. It's removing the rust completely. Check this out, I don't know if you can see it. Check this out, it's like a <laughs> big piece of rust here. And it's... All right, let's see what we have done up to now. Let's do this one first. What do you guys think? Okay, not bad, right? How many years this 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 part has been in, in, in any kind of weather conditions? Even mud, sand, snow, rain, hell, I've been everywhere. I've been through everywhere. With this bike and with my wife too. And a lot of cabbing, we love cabbing. We'll go back to see our cabbing trips. Very interesting. We camp uh, in the States, we camp in many places from uh, uh, New York, upstate New York, uh, Vermont, uh, New Hampshire, uh, uh, Utah, Colorado, Arizona, just some places that I remember right now. The only problem is about that time we didn't have a really good camera, but I have, I have pictures, yes. Maybe one day I will upload them to YouTube as an album. So we left something there. That's why YouTube is for. It's great. You just put your story there. So people can see it. Why not? Okay, not bad, not bad. We'll continue tomorrow, or the day after. Okay, I'm gonna wash this a little bit. Alright, let's see what we have on the bike now. Okay. You know, I'll be honest with you, I didn't want to do that. But now, I feel much better than I did it. You know, I have done almost everything except that part and now I feel really good about it. We're gonna refinish this this part, we're gonna do the electrical and let it be. You know, if I don't finish for the summer, I use it for the winter. We ride all winter here. I don't care. Well January and February it's not that simple. You really you really need good equipment. Uh, but in January and February, you can also get sunny days, but you can get a lot of snow. This year we have one meter, four feet of snow right here outside. Believe it or not, in Greece, yes. This is not bad, not bad for my old lady. Not bad. 
I'm gonna take it off, clean it completely in and out and everything here we're getting there guys we're getting there, thanks for watching okay, one more thing I'm gonna be doing today is clean up the rear side you know, if you get lucky like me to get a, a time like that <laughs> after all these years you should be appreciating some extra work on your bike okay, one thing is I'm gonna clean with gasoline but you don't wanna go anything on the belt if it does, wash it fast with very light soap okay, let's start with uh, uh, I'm going to start from the top I'm going to start from here And I have uh, clean and inspect uh, my rear absorbers there originally, yes. And thank God they are in very good condition because I don't want to put aftermarket. everything. YouTube is very important because it helps us in everything. Very important. Thanks God, these guys and, and Facebook too. I'm not into too much on uh, everything else. Just, uh, you know, we have our pages and stuff. We, it's good enough. And, and the YouTube channel. Uh, of course, I'm, I'm going to create another channel just for uh, beautiful places in Greece because uh, it's very important for, for guys like you from the States, Canada, Australia, England, Germany, whatever to see some secret places to find heaven this little country here it has it still enjoys, believe me or not, freedom even with all the laws and everything, we still enjoy freedom. Look at the previous video I have made with Rose uh, going through Sunion Cape. And you can see thousands of people enjoy the waters, the beach, free. Very important, free. Unfortunately, when I was in the States, most of the bitches you have to like, you know, pay, you have to give them your ID, you got to go through this and that, and uh, of course, there was very beautiful national parks and uh, nice beaches there too, but it's, it's a big difference here. Here is everywhere is free. It's by law. Nobody can close the beach to build a house or anything. Everybody has the right to go swim whatever the hell they want on any water on the sea on the island in, in Greece for free you cannot close the beach just for you that's very selfish that's one thing I never like in, in, in the States you can't close the beaches for, uh, for, the, for the people so you can enjoy it just by yourself very selfish <laughs> the ocean or the sea <laughs> no good in Europe, it's most uh, like free by law. Think about it; it's a big difference. Of course, uh, the states have other things that we, they don't have here. 
okay? But you know, you can have everything. Well, I kind of like, we have the best of both worlds because you know, I'm from uh, uh, United States too. I have two passports, one European, 